What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. For those of you stopping by for the first time, do me a real quick favor. See that red subscribe button down below? Go ahead and push that and show you support for the channel. For those of you stopping by that have been here before, welcome back to TLTG Reviews, my friends. Glad you came to see me. So I've had a few things come in over the last several days and I figured, hey Nick, why not? Let's go ahead and cover it. So, got some samples, got some decants, got a bottle. Let's check it out. Stay tuned. So first and foremost, I want to go over the decants that came in recently and give a few shout outs. Um, very nice gentleman. And we'll actually start off with what I got from my buddy Chris over at Motivated Living. Um, I know he had a bottle of Bond Number no. 9 Scent of Peace for a while and he was decanting it. And I asked him to hold on to a decant until I had got paid and he did. And I actually went ahead and got a decant, 10, 10 ml decant of Bond Number no. 9 Scent of Peace from him. I have tested it on my arm already. Of course, I get the Aventus comparisons, and uh, I do enjoy the scent. I'm not sure yet if it's full bottle worthy for me, uh, for the price, but I'll give this a few wearings, and then we'll go from there. But that's what I got from Chris, was a 10 ml decan of Bond Number no. 9, Scent of Peace. And next, Sean Davis over at TDS Smells Good Fragrances. I'll link, I'll link all these channels for those that do have channels in the description below, if you want to go check these guys out. Um, Big fan of his channel, man. He's entertaining. His personality is enormous, to say the very least. Um, shout out to you, Sean. And we got to talking, and he was wearing Aude Cafe from Mancera that day, and he insisted. He's like, man, let me send you a decant. I'm like, nah, man, you don't have to do that. Keep your stuff. He's like, no, no, no. I'll never go through this bottle. What's your address? I'll send you a decant. So he did just that. I have a 10 ml decant of Mancera Aude Cafe, and I got to say, this might be my favorite coffee fragrance I've ever smelled. I sprayed this one on my arm already too, because most of my coffee fragrances uh, have rose or they're more on the synthetic side, uh, like Montal Intense Cafe. That's heavy on the rose. The coffee's heavy in the opening. Dry Down's rose heavy. Not really heavy on the rose here. This, I mean, it's going to take me a little while to go through this 10 ml, but when I do start to put a pretty big dent in it, I believe this is going to be full bottle worthy. So shout out to you, Sean. Appreciate you sending this out to me, my friend. Very, very thoughtful. Be looking out for a full review of Mancera AU Cafe. Next, my buddy Chris Topher. Those of you that saw the Dior Fahrenheit 32 video have heard that name. Um, I actually had no idea he was sending this to me. Had no idea he had this, and I will be doing a comparison video. Of course, I sprayed this already and tested it. And there are some differences and some similarities for sure. But he sent me a 5 ml decant of Dior Eau Sauvage Parfum. It's a 2014 batch, but it's the 2012 formulation. And those of you that have been watching for a little while, you know how much I love the 2017 formulation. So now I have plenty to compare. And you can just see how much darker the juice is. It's a much lighter green, if you look at the top, above and below the black label. You can see just the that brown hue to it versus which it's in the box i can't pull it out it's a bright green for the 2017 and they have a lot of similarities but you can tell this one's got myrrh as compared to that one having elemy and just great fragrances i will do a comparison video coming up soon chris thank you for the very 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 pleasant surprise um spoiler alert though guys i don't see big enough differences to warrant spend spending about 180 dollars on a bottle but after i do further testing who knows my mind may change on that but Happy to have a decant of Dior Eau Sauvage Parfum, the 2012 formulation. So, a lot of you know I went to Scent Explorer in New York back at the beginning of November, and uh, one of the brands that was out there and had a booth set up was Kajal Parfums, uh, Kajal Perfumes. And I really, really enjoy it. Uh, like, I'll put a picture right here that shows, if you notice that little flower ring on my finger, I had that on all night. That's what Kajal was using for test, instead of test strips, they had these little flowers. And the fragrance that I had on my flower was Kajal Ohm. Absolutely love that fragrance. So we did do a little talking back and forth recently. And lo and behold, they went ahead and sent out a bottle of Kajal Ohm 
to me, which I did I did see that Matt got his bottle recently, Matt over at Georgia Gent, and he asked me what did I know about him, and that's the first thing that I said was Kajal Ohm is incredible. Lo and behold, he told, oh, well, that's what I got, actually. So I will be wearing this on Saturday. It did come in a few days ago. Of course, I immediately sprayed it on my wrist. I've already been wearing it. I'm very familiar with the scent. This is, spoiler alert on that review, this is a four season fragrance. Depending on how much you want to spray, you can adjust the sprays to go according to your situation because this can either be really loud or really light, really heavy. It can be so many things. Fantastic. And I mean this, the plate and then a the nice little detail right here, the cap, same as the cap. I just, great, great niche brand, but happy to have that. We'll be doing a full wearing on Saturday have a full review coming up in the next several days of Kajal Ohm. And then last, what else did I get? Big old bag of samples. The three that were for women I already pulled out and gave to my wife. And I've sprayed, I've opened a few of these and sprayed them already. So just to give you a few of the highlights of what's in here. Valentino Womo, Born in Roma. Very, very mass appealing. Noir Extreme, Tom Ford. I sprayed that one on my hand already as well. Finally, got to spray Terre d'Hermes, the Eau de Toilette. It is a very large sample. It's 3 ml. Got a lot to tell you about that one. Already sprayed Prada Luna Rosa Carbon. You can see that's torn open. So I could compare it side by side with Sauvage Eau de Parfum, which I do have a sample of Sauvage Eau de Toilette as well. And that's the main highlights I wanted to cover, if I remember correctly. Because there's still several in here. Why Eau de Parfum? I mean, there's still, there's still a bunch in there. There's still about another seven or eight in there on top of that. So, got a lot of different comparisons and, you know, first impressions and things like that that I can do. I still have a lot of samples that I need to go through, a lot of decants and stuff like that. Um, but the biggest highlight of this whole ordeal was the happy surprise of Eau Sauvage Parfum, the 2012. That is really, really cool to get my hands on. Um, a lot of cool stuff going on. I do have uh, the shave set from Happy Land Studios Barbershop, the shave soap and the aftershave splash in route. I have something special coming for Happy Land as well that you'll start seeing in the videos. Uh, what else? I ordered some Razorock Emperor shave soap and aftershave splash. Uh, gonna start doing a little bit more wet shaving stuff. I, I got bought my first. Um, oh, I actually put that little gif, little video right here, picture in picture. I did buy uh, Vanderhagen a little wet shaving kit with a stand and a brush. With it came with a soap, which I did use. That's what I shaved with two days ago. Um, as well as it's got the little soap dish to make soap and everything. And I gotta tell you, I've been shaving like a savage for all these years, and that's really the way to go. It is a much more pleasing and pleasurable shave. Going with the shave soaps for sure. I always love my aftershaves, but that that's the way to go, no doubt. So be looking out for some more reviews on stuff like that. Yes, I am a cartridge shaver. I did switch from Gillette to Harry's recently, and as most of you know, I am a ball-headed guy, and no, that's not from shaving. That I do, it's just easier to use a cartridge when you're shaving your head, because you can just feel for hair and go as compared to a single straight blade razor. So that's why I don't do that. So the purists won't be fans of that when they see my wet shaving videos because it is a cartridge uh, razor that I use. But hey, to each their own. Not, it's not really all that serious, you know. And until next time, guys, do me a real quick favor. Go ahead and like, comment, subscribe. Do appreciate all the feedback. I love hearing from you guys. Are any of you even looking forward to seeing me do any wet shaving videos? Is that something that people are going to watch? Should I keep it to myself? Eh, I'm probably going to do it. Uh, I do have a package coming from Gentleman's Nod as well. Speaking of shave soaps and uh, their newest release, uh, Kanpai, I believe is how you say it. And I'm going to have a sample of Johnny, which smells like Aventus. Got a lot of cool stuff going on with wet shaving. Always cool stuff going on with fragrances. Um, have a really cool collaboration coming up with FragranceNet here real soon. Uh, so be looking on that out for that as well. And until next time, guys, I will say... If you get your hands on any of these decants that we discussed, any of those samples that I've tried, and definitely Kajal Ohm, and you give it a spray now, there's a real good chance you'll thank me later. Have a good one, guys.